Revenge Buxton! Before Panina makes fun of me, that shirt came from Forever 21. Nice. I deserve that. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on, Bishop's Lounge? Woo! You feel that heat? Yeah, heat's on. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Nicole always turns the heat on. Love that shit. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm glad to be back in Western Mass. I lived in the South for a while, lived in Baltimore for a couple years, lived in Nashville for a couple years. And when you look like me and you live in the South, they decide what you are. They'll be like, and what do you have, sir? And I'm like, I guess I'm sir tonight. <laughs> I'll have the steak. And then they find out, they're like, oh, we saw you go into the woman's room. I'm gonna double down. Here's your sirloin. <laughs> it is, it's fun. But then you come back up here and they're like, what are your pronouns? And you're like, no fucking clue. Didn't know I had a choice. <laughs> What are they? Like, you can go, they, them, that seems like it would fit you. I'm like, there's one of me, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me so nervous. I'm an English teacher, you know, I'm an English teacher. I can't reinvent everything just because I want to reinvent gender. Doesn't mean I want to go by ZZ, I don't know. I'm not an alien, but I teach in what they call urban education, uh, which means that my students don't really understand subject verb agreement. So imagine just going to them being like, no, 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 my pronouns are ZZ. It'd be like, miss, what the fuck is a pronoun? <laughs> like, never mind, forget it, forget it, it's fine. I'm queer though, I'm queer. Yeah. I'm not like, I don't make my own tinctures and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Clear, but like, like I never traded like stick and poke tattoos for a place to crash. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm queer, but like I don't have an emotional support goat. You know what I mean? I don't know. I guess I'm non-binary or whatever, which is like basically it means that I'm like a very old computer. And I'm just kidding. It means that. Uh, I've been PC'd. No, I'm just kidding. In Silicon Valley, you know how they PC you? They just throw a desktop at your head. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, but it, it's like when you like when you're non-binary, it's like it's like uh, when your dick is Microsoft. That's what it's like. Uh, three computer jokes in a row. So that happened. <laughs> Thank you. Um, there's some other things on here. Uh, what else is going on with me? Sure, I'm gonna tell you. You don't have a choice, I got the mic. Uh, uh, gender dysphoria, it's this thing in the DSM-5 and here's how it's defined. It's a conflict between your assigned gender and your biological sex. So what that means is you, you kind of just have to figure it the fuck out. Like you have to figure out how you're gonna cope. A lot of people take tea. I take tea also with like cream and a little bit of sugar. And, um, I'm just playing, but I do, my favorite is green tea, or as I like to call it, penis envy. Uh, <laughs> you like that. You specifically. Um, uh, I also, uh, I don't know, I wasn't sure if anyone was gonna laugh at that, so I was gonna add a little part right here where it's like, uh, it's okay, you don't have to laugh at that. There's a whole community of trans men that are peeing their pants right now, just so they don't have to choose a bathroom. And, and that's the tea, right? And that's the tea. Right, okay. All right, all right. What else? What the fuck else? Oh my god. Uh, there's three bad things about being queer. Three, no, there's more. But let's just say this. For the sake of the joke, there's only three. Number one, accidentally matching with your partner. Fucking awful. Uh, number two, the haircuts. Fucking awful. Uh, number three is the eight extra minutes it takes for you to get dick down. Um, <laughs> It's like, it's like when you forget to like undo your straps and then you like, you go, you're like, oh, I'm in the mood. Then you gotta undo them shits. It's not like a roller coaster, but I think it should be. I think you get a roller coaster, you know, the fucking bar comes up and it goes back down and some guy named Josh comes over and he's like, all right, all clear, enjoy your ride. And you go, you know what I'm saying? And then you come back and you look at the person next to you and you're like, oh my God, that was amazing. And she looks back at you like, why'd you call me daddy? And you're like, I don't know, I don't know. And then you, you come back in the view and there's Josh and Josh is like, Thanks for enjoying your ride at Six Flags, New England. <laughs> and you just look at each other and you're like, name of our sex tape. All right, that's it. I'm in his book. And Josh. Yeah. And 
I told you that Forever 21 shit in, in confidence. <laughs> and you, ugh, oh, outed me. God damn it. All right, I deserved it. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. Your next comedian, super funny, super nice. Give it up for Sophie Allen. 